Again, with a horrific crime, a Roseville man accused of setting his girlfriend seen here on fire. And right now, 48 year old Richard Fredrickson sits inside a Placer County jail cell as witnesses tell us how this violent night played out. I saw him right after it happened. And well, he was totally calm. Neighbors say they heard fighting the night of the assault. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Merge. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm is live in Roseville with this disturbing story. Rob? Yeah, good evening, Tony and Sharin. Now, these homes are duplexes. This all took place Saturday night in the second home beyond this fence. This fence was closed earlier on tonight. Now, neighbors, as you said, heard fighting the night of that incident, and they tell me this couple had had fights before, but Saturday night it escalated into a frightening level. As Roseville police continue with their investigation, it's not clear what happened in this house off South Kirby Way Saturday when police were called here around 11 o'clock at night. We heard choking. Yeah, like someone was choking. Like, you know, when you, you're choking on something, you're like, <sighs> like we heard that. And then the dog was barking. This 20 year old neighbor posted video of the police activity but declined to appear on camera. She's still trying to figure out how her neighbor, Jessica, ended up in the UC Davis burn unit and her live in boyfriend, Richard Fredrickson, is accused of lighting her on fire. He was chill, but like, the people that he surrounded with himself with. Jeff Schlechter says he's known Fredrickson for 40 years and can't believe his childhood friend is responsible. I was with them a couple hours before this happened. They were perfectly happy and fine. I don't know what, how anything could transpire that fast. Fredrickson was arrested late Saturday night and is currently being held in the South Placer jail facing a slew of charges for the alleged attack, which left the victim calling 911 for herself. Inflicting corporal punishment, um, mayhem, starting a fire that uh, caused great bodily injury um, and torture. As the victim recovers, friends posted updates on Facebook. This from Jennifer Leiter, saying prayers are being answered and the victim's face and legs aren't badly burned. She's alert and her abdomen and arms are wrapped for protection. Still, though, so many questions, and Selectia right believes he has the answer. I saw him right after it happened. And well, he was totally calm, and he said that she lit herself on fire. Now, the victim we know as Jessica remains in critical condition. We reached out to friends of the family who tell me the couple had only known each other for only three months. Guys? Ah, oh, so horrific. Uh, we are... Giving our prayers to her tonight. Rob, thanks.